Hey there everybody. This is a video of my 2004 Ford Excursion six door. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown of the truck, let you see it in a video. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This is the first thing that everybody wants to do when they see this truck is open the third door. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You do have three full rows and of course the two captains up up front i'll uh i'll do another interior in just a minute but everyone's always just begging to open that third door as soon as they see it so you do have cup holders on the sides armrest uh these seats do fold up and flat you do have steps here on both sides uh it has the 6.0 liter 2005 version actually so it's the one where they went back to all steel instead of aluminum i've put about fourteen thousand dollars into the engine uh, and i had the receipts for everything it's got a hundred and twelve thousand miles on it now but i've done just about everything you can do from the engine i mean i've had it completely rebuilt just had brand new headers put in couple thousand miles ago i bought this truck when it had a hundred thousand and it now has 112 112,000 miles starts up just fine she is loud um ac is cold you've got your nav here you can hook up bluetooth everything four-wheel drive this is for the light bar up front i'll go flip that on Kelderman, we'll come back to that. Uh, rear view camera and the music I had so it automatically mutes when you put it in reverse. And then the music comes back on. There's your uh, rear controls. And again, here is the full setup. Three, 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 and two. So you can get 11 people in this. And I promise you can get their snowboards and luggage too because I've done it. Now, I'm going to turn that off just because it is a little loud. The thing that really makes this one different than anything else you're gonna see online of the six doors is that this one is not a salvage title. This one has a clean title. It was never wrecked. It was a clean 2004 at uh, F-250 at 90,000, 95,000 miles. And then I had it converted to a six door excursion dual batteries of course I've got the nice Optima yellows those are brand new branch hand front bumper there's the light the light bar in the front you do have two smaller light bars here on the front and those just come on automatically with the regular um, with the regular fog lights oh there they are here's the regular fog lights and then there's those so you don't have to have this one on all the time normally I just leave the fog lamp running here, let me try and do that for you. Turn that one off and then see you just turn it on and you pull it out. And, uh, oh, I have to have the car on for the fog lights. Sorry. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, it's got a big horn on it. Put a marine horn on it. These, uh, these do light up and they're extendable for when you're towing whatever you want. Again, six doors. Here's a look inside the second row. You really do have a lot of room in these things. And um, the back real quick. I'm sure everybody wants to see that. It's just a regular excursion. has the three doors on it. And then just so much room. You can actually put a full-size snowboard from there up onto this platform here. I mean, a full-size, like a, we had a buddy that's got a 162 wide. And we can put all the snowboards in here that we want. Um, there's uh, your trailer hitch. And... Um, it has the seven pin, and then I actually had a four pin put in there just for some of my smaller stuff. 
uh, little utility trailers, jet ski stuff, just so I didn't have to keep an adapter handy. They're, uh, they're right in between tires, 36, 36.25 inches, so they're almost 37s. I know they look kind of small on this, but it's really just because the excursion is so big. All right, and last but not least, now this, guys, this is really important when you're looking at one of these trucks. I have the Fox suspension with the full four-link air rod in the front and in the rear. Now, this system is capable of going up in the front and the rear a little bit more, um, but this is just where I had it at for a comfortable ride. I do tow a lot, so I wanted to keep the tire size down a little bit. You lose a little bit of power with those 40 inch tires. But everything front and rear is all Kelderman Air Rod. And the Kelderman Air Rod has been on there less than 6,000 miles. It is brand new. It's a $20,000 system, guys. You do have your supporting A arms. See, Kelderman Air Rod. And they link down here. This is how a real, a real lift should look. I had the drivetrain in the rear extended. See, look, there's more parts of the lift to help keep everything extra stable. I did. I just wanted to make sure I did it right. Here's a look at the rear. Now these bags do deflate, um, so the whole back of the excursion will actually drop down. I don't know, about two inches, just to kind of help you with loading up trailers and whatnot. I really can't think of anything else to tell you about this thing. I mean, it is clean. It uh, it does um, roll coal out of there pretty, pretty tremendously. I do have a tuner in it, but I don't use it um, except for um, my gauges, temperature gauge, everything in there. It has been deleted. I mean, like I said, fully bulletproof. I have so much money in the engine and the Kelderman system, the stretch itself, everything. I really did want to do this right. And honestly, the only reason I'm getting rid of it is it still wasn't big enough. So I went and bought me a Ford Transit. It seats 15 people. Um, the excursion was only at 11 and I really hate to let it go, but it just wasn't big enough. If you could imagine that with all the people that I need to carry. The windows are really dark. Not gonna see in there. But um, from the outside, they're actually very see-through. This is the Lariat, just in case y'all were wondering. Um, real quick, sorry, there's a entertainment system up there, along with your dual rear controls. Huge glove box. Everything else in here is pretty standard for an F-250. Anyway, that's back to the air ride, like I said. There's your dump, and if it's on, big glove box, power seats. Guys, it's a solid truck. Just for you nerds out there that want to see how it was done, you can see the 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 F-250 where it ends, and here's where the excursion begins, and they see channeled over it. And the underside, I don't know if we're going to be able to check it out. There's another look at the suspension, but um, the frames were done 100% right. This is a $30,000 conversion on this thing. There's your dump valve for your Kelderman. Uh, so whenever the system actually senses water uh, inside the airbags or inside the air system, it automatically will give a little and let all the water out so you don't have to do it manually. It's really important if it gets cold or you take it, like I said, snowboarding. Cool. Um, I really can't think of anything else to go over with this thing. I've had a lot of fun with it. I had a buddy take it to Arkansas um, from South Carolina, which is where I am. He loves it. I take it up in the mountains all the time. It's a good three hours away. Season's over for us now, but it is a really, it is a really fun truck. 
Um, so call me, text me, email me if you have any questions about the excursion. I'm sure there will be some. Um, but for the most part, what you see is what you get. It is an excursion with uh, seating for three more people and the tow capability to pull just about anything you want. Thanks, guys. Again, hit me up. No problems. Bye now.